general has about 3 million patients. Um, of course, we are the uh, most obese state in the nation. About a third of our patients, a little over a third, are obese, so obesity is rampant amongst us, as is uh, the high prevalence of diabetes. It's because of a lot of things. It's because of the socioeconomic status in Mississippi primarily. Uh, this is the one of the poorest states in the union. Well, about many indexes, the poorest. We have some genetics that are against us here. Um, we have a large African American population that has a special um, predisposition to develop um, both obesity and type 2 diabetes just from the genetics of it. And Our uh, metabolic syndrome is very common. Pretty much, uh, probably about 75% of patients have diabetes, dyslipidemia, and hypertension, and obesity. I would say almost 80 percent are uninsured or medicaid patients and they have a lot hard time getting their medications affording it it's the cost of medications and the cost of care and then i really think it's just a lack of education you know i think they don't realize when you hear diabetes a lot of people think it's just another illness. Really, a lot of them haven't been um, given information on their level that they can understand. And so um, all of our literacy materials and the approach that we aim to is about the fourth to sixth grade reading level. They, everything's fried, all the vegetables are starchy. So, you know, to get our patients to memorize that corn, peas, potatoes, sweet potatoes, and beans are not real vegetables. I mean, it's just absurd to them. You know, fresh foods are, A, maybe not available to them. Um, a lot of them are on wick foods that may not be the most nutritious. And, and it's also a cultural thing, you know. Um, here, taking shots, is there is a stigma associated with them. They get a lot of their health information from cousins or aunts or grandmothers or their um, church leader. You know, growing up, uh, my you know, my parents always stress to me the importance of cleaning your plate. Well, you know, I've, I've learned now that I, I don't have to clean my plate. Just because it's there doesn't mean I, I have to eat it or need to eat it. We had a guy that came in with an 18 and a half, a one 19 and a half, way up there off the chart. And he, um, by the time he finished, he was on a multiple daily injection regimen, he would come in with spreadsheets. I mean, his blood sugars look better than mine and I don't have diabetes. First visit, you get her to show you her technique. She was not putting the pin needle on the, the insulin pen. So she was just prep, you know, prepping her dose, delivering it to her site, pressing and insulin was just running down her belly. Um, and so she had been using insulin four or five months before we got there and just no one had ever taken the time to watch her inject and she had never been given a pin needle and so in six months we have turned her double digits and I think she's around 8% now. I would love to have all of my patients at their A1C goal and I, and I really think it's possible. Um, I think with the way this clinic, just the way they have structured it to help patients, I think that it makes that goal very possible. We know that this model will work um, and utilizing the different strengths of the different players um, can produce dramatic results and so that's one thing that I look forward to seeing. Um, another is just the springboard that this will allow for the future. Um, we haven't been in this site. Um, we know it's going to be a great environment, a great training site. So just what can come out of Project Impact allowing this, us to put someone here for a period of time to kind of pilot. I do believe it is going to improve the care of our patients with diabetes because what we've shown is is how they're going to be placed in the system. You know, when you have that person telling you how to take your medications correctly, because what this is is medication management, you know, so who better to do that than, than pharmacists? So I definitely think they're an asset to our system, and that we are also enjoying exposing them, because there are not enough people to teach diabetes. They're not, you know, so maybe it'll be something that they will actually um, evolve into. This diabetes stuff is not a 
It's not a death sentence, man. You can, you can do this. You, you can, we, we can do it.